Abraham. Abraham. Originally called Abram, he is given the name Abraham at the covenant ceremony in Genesis 17. The two names are generally understood to be the di dialect variations on each other. Although the longer the form was understood in popular etymology to mean father of Maltulus. His story is essentially the history of the establishment of the covenant between Abraham and God. God calls Abraham to leave his land, family and household in Mesopotamia, in return for new land, family and inheritance in Canaan, the promised land. Threats to the covenant arise, difficulties in producing an heir, the threat of bondage in Egypt, of lack of fear of God, but all are overcome and the covenant is established. Abraham's story ends with the death and burial of his wife Sarah in the grave which has, he has purchased in Hebron, a town in southern Judah, followed by the marriage of his heir Isaac to a wife from his own people. These two episodes sig signify first the right of his descendants to the land and second the exclusion to the, of the land Exclusion of the land's previous inhabitants, the Canaanites, from Israel's patrimony. <coughs> Abraham is the father of Judaism. In the Old Testament of the Bible, it details the relationship between Abraham and God and outlines how God presented Abraham the task of leading the Jew Jewish people to the promised land. Abraham is known to be the founder of Judaism. It is believed that he founded the religion in the present day Israel about 4,000 4, years ago. This is according to the Hebrew Bible. It is widely believed that the founder of Judaism was Abraham. Judaism is one of the four monotheistic religions of the world that firmly believe in the presence of only one God. The founder of Judaism also held this belief. The religion has developed ever since. <laughs>